My name's uh, Peter Price. Uh, I'm 66 years old, uh, and I've been in the meat trade for 50 years. When I was 16, my uncle, which was Sam Hall from the West Midlands, uh, he had a, a number of butcher shops and he used to go around the, uh, all the farms in the West Midlands killing pigs and uh, making products out of the pig. Uh, and you know, we used uh, all the best pork for making pork pies uh, and, and the other parts of the pig we used for curing for making bacon, sausages, and it was just an old process from the word go. When I was, used to go with my uncle, help him kill the pigs, uh, they used to hang them up for three or four days, cut them up and get them ready, then cure the bacon, and then all the piece of pork which was left over, he used to put that to one side and take that back to his shop where he used to make it into pork pies. Our pies are obviously originated from the, the original recipe which is the pastry, the meat. Most of all, all the meat is all sourced locally. And there's nothing imported, it's all fresh ingredients and it makes a vast difference to the, to the end product. What, what we're doing now, we're just mincing the pork for the pork pies, which is a content of 70% lean, 30% uh, fat. And when, we, when we've added the spices, and uh, everything, that's what it looks like. That's the finished article. That is the, the pork, what we actually put into our pork pies. And what we do next, we weigh those off into balls like that. And then we put that into the cases, what we'll show you later on. Gally used to work for me uh, when I was at another premises in Bridge North and uh, he used to work for me, he worked for me for about 12 months and then uh, I taught him how to, how to make air pork pies then I asked him one day because you know I'm, he's a lot younger than me I asked him if he'd like to be a partner so obviously I made him a partner We're in the newspaper because uh, we've, we've won a lot of major awards with their pork pies and whatever and uh, you know they took it up and they just said that they would come and take some pictures and put it in the newspaper. We uh, teach people how to make pork pies. Uh, you know we have courses here. We have a number of ten or twelve at a time, and we teach them from from the start to the finish, making the pastry, you know, filling the, the the pork pie to the old baking and the old process. I think what's attracting people is it, um, it's the bygone method. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people live in a world, I think, where they just go to a supermarket. There's the finished product in a piece of paper, in cling film, whatever. You look at it, you say, oh, that was nice. But I think there's a generation of people now want to know how it's made, what, you know, right from the start. And, and to be able to have a go at it, you know, it kind of whets some people's appetite. Something you do all your life, you take for granted in the end. But Our, our, our diet is full. You know, we have people uh, waiting. To, to actually come on the pie making courses and we, we are getting a bit uh, you know a lot of people keep ringing us back saying you know am I still on the list and then we, we have to keep explaining that I'm sorry but you are sort of next or next at the time but we just can't fit them all in all together because obviously we've got the producing to do and then obviously we have to donate a day for teaching Obviously, I started using the, uh, the old original recipes from what, from what my uncle gave me, and uh, it just escalated from there. We started here, uh, I started, I made Gary a partner in the business. We, we've had this uh, new uh, unit pers purposely built, and uh, we just went from there, and we do uh, artisan markets, and we do speciality markets, which we uh, always do well, and we sell out. I think for Peter, I think he's a, he's a kind of man who can't just sit back. I think he's retirement come, and he's not the kind of man to go home and watch Jeremy Kyle all day. <laughs> he's got to get up and be doing something. And there's a demand out there. He's, he's shown me things, and I think, wow, that is good. 
he tries different things, tries different... He never stands still, he'll try a different flavour. If it doesn't work, fine, but he'll give it a go. And, and I applaud him for that. He doesn't just sit back and say, let's make that, let's make that, let's make that. Get it out the door, get our money. He's always trying different things, and for a man of his age, he's got a lot of drive, I think. I really enjoy it. I love, I love coming to work every day. I love coming to work, and I love doing what I do. I just enjoy uh, making the pies, baking the pies, selling the pies. You know, just fantastic. Have you ever tasted another brand's pie that you thought was better than yours? No. I went to Melton Mowbray only last weekend and I, I'm sorry, I went into a famous pork pie shop and uh, I won't mention the name, but I thought to myself, well, if that's a, a good pork pie, what's internationally known, uh, you know, it, it's, it was good, but I think I've got the edge on it. <laughs>